Uh oh. The People's Republic of China has big plans for space. China is working on a newly planned station dated for a 2019 launch. Beijing expects it to be operational by 2022. The space station will be able to host up to three astronauts over 180-day periods. This is around the same time span that astronauts will spend on the International Space Station. China says their planned space station will orbit Earth at altitudes of between 340 kilometers and 450 kilometers. The ISS orbits at around 400 kilometers. China's space station may outlast the ISS, as that craft's future is unclear after 2025. Reportedly, the U.S. government is considering pulling its funding or privatizing it. According to Yahoo News, the U.S. has banned China from using the ISS since 2011. Here's more on space. Tiangong One to fall to Earth on Saturday. Parts of a Chinese space lab will likely plummet somewhere over Earth this weekend. China's Tiangong One spacecraft is predicted to fall to Earth on Saturday, March 31st, or Sunday, April 1st. According to Aerospace Corporation, re-entry will begin when the spacecraft falls to an altitude of 120 kilometers above Earth. Some of this may be visible from Earth. As it descends to an altitude of 80 kilometers, the spacecraft will break apart. The UK Space Agency's chief engineer told the BBC that most of Tiangong One will burn up on re-entry, with surviving debris likely falling into the ocean. Experts say the risk of it impacting a city or populated area are very low. Aerospace Corporation says the chances of someone being hit by Tiangong One are one in a trillion. Earlier forecasts estimated re-entry at between March 29th and April 9th. Impact is expected somewhere between 43 degrees north and 43 degrees south latitudes. New Zealand joins the space race. Test launches for a commercial space rocket built by a startup based both in Los Angeles and New Zealand are scheduled to take place this week. The Rocket Lab Electron is made of carbon composite material, and its rocket boosters use 3D printed Rutherford engines. The rocket's first stage has a cluster of nine electric engines that burn liquid oxygen and refined kerosene. The second stage has a single vacuum-optimized engine that can carry payloads weighing up to 225 kilograms. The Electron rocket will deliver small satellites into space. They will be used for mapping, to predict the weather, provide high-speed internet, and analyze the environment. Rocket Lab plans to complete three test launches before the Electron is available commercially. The company plans to eventually build and launch one rocket per week. With flights costing around five million U.S. dollars each, luxury space hotel to blast off in 2021 to infinity, and where poor people can't afford to go. Startup Orion Span announced on Thursday it plans to build a luxury space hotel to launch in late 2021 and start accepting guests by 2022. A 12-day stay at Aurora Station will begin at 9.5 million dollars. The space station. Will be roughly the same size as a large private jet cabin. It will be 43.5 feet long by 14.1 feet wide, and have a pressurized volume of 5,650 cubic feet. It will orbit in an altitude of 200 miles. For comparison, the International Space Station is 357 feet long and has an internal pressurized volume of 32,333 cubic feet. The Aurora Station will be able to accommodate four paying guests and two crew members. Orion Span is also planning to add new modules to the space hotel over time. Long term, the company says it hopes to sell actual space and new modules for living or subleasing. Weaponizable satellites. A UK-based space company is planning to launch satellite servicing drones by 2020, but experts warn these could double as space weapons. Space Drone is an 800-pound spacecraft that can dock onto aging satellites running low on fuel and help stabilize and maneuver them. The drones remain attached for up to five years before then moving the satellite to a graveyard orbit at the end of its life. Experts believe the space drones can be used to clean up Earth's orbit by directing space debris into the atmosphere to burn up. Theoretically, the drones could also be weaponized and used to hijack active satellites and push them out of orbit. 
The company that makes the space drone says any technology has the potential to be abused and claims they can prevent this by retaining control and simply offering their services. The U.S. and Russia are going to build an epic space base. The Deep Space Gateway. That may sound like some sort of science fiction fantasy, but it could soon be science reality. NASA and Russia's space agency Roscosmos has signed an agreement to work on a new space station near the moon. The proximity of the Deep Space Gateway to the Moon would create opportunities for lunar missions and future deep space exploration, such as missions to Mars and beyond. Space agencies from Japan, Europe and Canada are also interested in working on the project that is currently at the conceptual stage of design. Once complete, NASA says it hopes to use the base to extend the presence of humanity in the solar system. China's Concept Martian Forest City Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese space agency, Tongji University and Stefano Boeri Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? 